So the sprint draw just finished outside of this offense's most featured run concepts, but no SEC offense featured the sprint draw as much as the Razorback. So obviously it's just being a little bit more dynamic way to run draw than something inside the pocket. You're working laterally, trying to get the defense working one way before sending a misdirection the other way. And commonly, Arkansas had this Omaha option on the outside just in case this defender bailed. You have an easy completion to the flat with this guy obviously clearing out. So the blocking up front basically divulged to the two end guys setting high walls with two double teams on the inside. So from that, they then work up to the next level. So that's as is. Um, even though it doesn't necessarily divulge that way, that's how you like the you know that's how you like to set it up. So you see our high walls, our high walls, our doubles, doubles. But you can see how the outward action is influencing these defenders to over pursue. So even though this double was supposed to work up towards that linebacker, that is no longer necessary with him being drawn away from where the run is going. So you'll notice our guard actually whiffs going up to the next level. Not so great. Um, and, and because how this linebacker comes with a full head of steam and neither of these backer, none of those blockers get off in time in order to engage him, our hole has to bounce outside. But since we have that nice high wall and we get our nice seal from our right, from our left guard and left tackle, you can see we have a brand new hole on the outside and Smith cuts out. So all in all, 142 yards, which was the fifth most by this offense in our parameter. And um, it just finished outside of its most successful concepts as well with a 52.9% success rate and an 8.35 yards per attempt. 